Hey everybody! In this series of tutorials I want to introduce you to animation in SideFX Houdini. It's a pretty amazing and awesome software for animation and you will, I think you will find it uh, very fun and convenient to animate in here. In the first videos I will start by showing you how to animate a bouncing ball. In this video I will demonstrate to you how to make a ball bounce up and down and the in the next video we will make it move forward like so. And then I have a whole bunch of cool tutorials in mind. We will animate all kinds of characters and do all sorts of fun things. Anyway, let's begin with our tutorial. Uh, I will create a new scene over here and import our rig. I have created a rig for the bouncing ball. You can download it. it you can download it, it by following the link in the description. And then you click File, Import, and uh, Import Houdini Digital Asset. We select our file of our rig and click Install and Create. Now we have our ball and it is a very simple rig. Let me show you around how it works. So we have our main control that allows us to move the ball around like so and rotate it as well. But specifically for uh, our animation, instead of general rotate control, we will use a, a roll control. You select it here and it just rolls our ball around. Also we have squash and stretch parameters uh, that will be useful for our bouncing animation and you can also rotate the direction in which a ball deformates. And the reason we are using our roll parameter instead of the general rotate is that roll parameter will, uh, as you can see, rotate ball within the deformation, while the general rotate parameter will just rotate the whole rig, and that is not what we want. Okay, so let's reset all of the parameters to the default. To do that, by the way, you can press Ctrl and uh, middle click on the parameters. So we have our rig, we have our uh, ball and we are ready to start animating. Alright, so let's begin with adjusting our timeline. We want e animation to last around 100 frames and we want to turn on the real-time toggle uh, which will uh, make sure that Houdini plays the animation uh, in the real-time instead of uh, playing it as fast as it can, which is what we want for animation. So now that we've done that, we can place our ball in the starting position, like so. And set our first keyframe. To do that, we just press Alt and click on the parameter. It's green now, that means that we set our keyframe. To set, then let's move a few frames ahead, like to the 10th frame, and drop the ball to the ground. To do that, we can control uh, middle click on the parameter to turn to default and uh, uh, set yet another keyframe. Alternatively, we can turn on the auto K uh, button, and that will mean that every time we change the parameter, it will uh, set a keyframe for us automatically, which is pretty convenient. Please note that keyframes are set only on parameters that have already some ani animation on them. For example, this parameter will not be automatically keyframed. Alright, and uh, if you want to delete a keyframe that you don't want, we can just press uh, Ctrl left click. Alright, so I'll, our ball is falling now and let's Let's continue our animation. Because as we animate, uh, as the ball slows down, uh, keyframes will be closer together so that uh, each bounce takes less time than the previous one and the it will also bounce up 
uh, to the lower height. So let's say the first bounce took 10 frames, uh, 9 frames, the next one will take around 8 and go like to this height to 14 instead of to 14 units instead of 16 then it goes back to the ground in 8 frames again then back up and we will just continue setting the keyframes so now that we have set our basic keyframes we have a pretty simple uh, animation it looks kinda robotic so we will need to improve it to do that we will use our animation editor animation editor allows us to edit uh, animation curves let's for convenience open scene view over here in this window so we could see animation and conveniently edit our curves so right now we automatically opened uh, the curve that, curves that have keyframes on them and we will select our uh, translate y curve and we can see that it represents how the ball moves uh, up and down so for example if we want to adjust some of the he height on the on this keyframe we can just drag uh, these handles up and down to make sure that our height is decreasing gradually and nicely more importantly as you can see uh, the horizontal handles mean then that when the ball gets closer to the keyframe it slows down and then it speeds up as the curve gets steeper when the ball bounces off the ground that that's not what we want we want the bounce to be you know sharp to do that we can select all of our handles at the bottom and press t which means untie handles you can also right click and see that it's somewhere over here tie and tie t here and now we can edit the handles so that our each bounce would be sharp like this you can even select multiple keyframes and just control them like that which is pretty cool so now I, or our animation should look a little better see it's already more natural also if you want we can add several extra bounces at the end just by copying and pasting keyframes ctrl c ctrl v in the animation editor and now we will have last several bounces very neatly like so nice the last thing we want to do to complete our vertical bouncing animation is to add some squash and stretch basically the idea is simple is that before hitting the ground ball stretches like so we will set our first keyframe at zero like this so at first our ball is round 
then right before it hits the ground it stretches then the moment it's on the ground it smashes into the ground like this and uh, right the next keyframe it stretches again so we have motion like this it falls down bounce and He is uh, round again when he is at the top. When it's at the top, so let's just set all the keyframes for squash and stretch. So now that we have set our squash and stretch, our animation looks like this. Something is wrong with it, and you can see it in the animation editor. When we open our squash and stretch parameter. We see that it uh, slowly and gradually uh, turns into. Let me show it over here. So when ball drops down, it slowly and gradually stretches. That's not exactly what we want. We want it to happen faster as it hits the ground, and when it's at the top, we want it to be around as long as possible so we will just edit our curves and the same with uh, bounce up we want it to be stretched for a few frames but then we want it to quickly become normal shaped and round so we will edit our curves for each bounce Also, while we are added, uh, these curves look a little bit chaotic. We want squash and stretch to be also gradually getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's more convenient to just adjust our curves to make sure that they are all neatly aligned with each other. like so let's make it fall down gradually And the amount of squash it gets should also always should also slowly decrease. Like this. So now we have our simple and neat curves. Which is pretty sweet. And now our animation looks like this. which is a pretty nice bouncing ball animation now if we want to render this animation we can simply turn off the visibility of our controls and then click uh, flip book button and it will uh, re render our viewport in the sequence of frames so now we have our neat little nice bouncing ball animation. I hope this video was useful to you and uh, you know subscribe if you want to watch my next tutorials. 
in the next one we will make the move uh, the ball move ahead and after that we will animate some other cool things